Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. This week on Test Drive, we look at the 1991 Honda Accord. Now, as you can see, this is no ordinary Accord. It's the new wagon. Now, with the resurgence in popularity of this type of vehicle, we decided it was about time to have a look at the new kit on the block. The new Honda Accord wagon features the same sophisticated 2.2-litre engine as the one we tested in the 1990 sedan. It still features 16 valves, two counter-rotating shafts and plenty of torque. However, they've bumped the horsepower by 10 to 140. From a practical standpoint, the extra horses help offset the additional weight and cargo capacity very nicely. Both on the skid pad and on the road, the engine's flexibility ensured prompt throttle response. Our test wagon featured Honda's new four-speed automatic transmission. It offers both sport and normal modes. In the sport mode, each gear is held a little longer. This ensures the best use of the engine's additional power. One of the things that irked me in driving this car was the upshift quality the transmission offers. It's rather abrupt to say the least. And if you're at about a half to a third throttle, it seems to be accentuated and it makes no difference whether you're in sport or normal mode. It wasn't, to be quite frank, what I was expecting of a Honda automatic. I was rather disappointed. The last time I tested the Accord, I knocked Honda for not offering ABS. I still say they should do themselves a favor. Offer their exceptionally good anti-lock brake system on all models rather than just the EXR sedan. While the wagon turns in some very impressive stopping distances, it lacked the overall feel and security of a car with an anti-lock brake system. In the pylon test, the Accord put on a terrific showing. There was virtually no body roll and only a minimal amount of understeer. The secret to this success is the fully independent double wishbone suspension with front and rear sway bars and gas shocks. On the road, though, I found the whole setup rather firm. This combined with the church pew-like seats made things a little hard on the old posterior. Sacrificing some of the handling characteristics would have made the going a lot easier. From a driving perspective, the Accord is set up to perfection. The dash contains all the right analog gauges and everything that needs to be used can be reached. This holds true from the power window controls through the radio to the hub-mounted cruise control. The wagon format displayed little of the boombox effect you find in some wagons. The open plan layout did not amplify the road noise and there was no nasty rattles evident from the rear seats or from the privacy cover. On the subject of the rear seats, they offer reasonable room and the 60-40 split adds to the versatility of the wagon. All in all, the rear environment is well laid out despite my pet peeve. You're looking at my pet peeve with the Honda Accord wagon and it's to do with the intrusion of the shock towers into the usable cargo space. In fact, they intrude so much that they limit the width to a point where you may even find it'll turn off a lot of traditional wagon buyers. Now for the final rundown on the 1991 Honda Accord, let's go to the scoreboard. Thanks to the 140 horses on tap, the wagon reaches 100 kilometers an hour in just over nine seconds. This number of horses combined with plenty of torque gives the Accord wagon a very crisp response throughout its entire operating range. From a handling perspective, the wagon is extremely good. As with the Passat, the Accord tracked a line through the pylons that many supposed sports cars would certainly envy. If you opt for the wagon, you can forget anti-lock brakes because they aren't offered. Having said that, the disc drum setup performed very well, averaging just 115 feet from 80k. The stops were straight and the pedal very easy to modulate. I found the Accord somewhat less than comfortable. The seats are far too hard and the suspension too stiff. The overall effect leaves a little to be desired. We recorded a highly commendable 28 miles per gallon or 10 litres per 100 kilometres. This for a large four-cylinder engine is very good, especially in a wagon. I'm sure the new Accord wagon will sell very well, if only because it bears the Honda nameplate. My only reservation is that the format may be a little too little too late, because the competition is certainly larger and a lot more affordable.